I'm just looking for some good fashioned Dota. Let's see what we can do here, guys. And they do have two supports that can run through trees as well. So it's, uh, well, Zinkyu can't right now, but he'll be able to. So it's very balanced, symmetrical, some would say even. Uh, Zama is getting run down right now. And so is Ame. Ame is getting burned apart. They get the kill on Jalma. Why gets first blood on that? But Ame ooh, gets the kill on Yang before he ends up burning. It's a Dream Phoenix game. <laughs> he might die here, though. <laughs> I think this time he might have been caught. XM, though, he's the one who's getting caught by nothing to say. And that is a kill for the Coddle over mid with uh, a little bit of help there from ZinQ showing up. Yeah, that's exactly what we were talking about, right? <laughs> like these prophets, they can very often just stay in the jungle, not join the fights, defend mid tier one. He might get punished here, though. Guardian down rotating. bottom, Yang in some trouble. They've got the Blade Fury from Erika and the healing ward down, but Yang's not going to survive this snowball over to Shinkyu. But the Icarus dive in, some fire spirits being thrown over, the Omni Slash being tanked by Zinkyu, keeping Thief Beyond alive. Also threw out a supernova on that. You use supernova, you use Solar Guardian. There's a lot used there to protect top on lane. that. As oh, top boss. lane, Ami's been caught. And with the Rod of Atos, the damage coming in, there's no chance he survives. And XM gets tower. credit for the kill and Denied. they deny the tower. Oh, I think it might have partially been like, okay, they've got uh, this Tree Protector as well. I didn't make the rotation of the top lane earlier. If we put this much like effort into taking this top tier one, I want to make sure this is secured. Snowball. The rest can be dumb. Shards, Snowball, why? Trying to use that Sunray to get away, but there are enough heroes here to make sure that doesn't happen. So Yang gets the kill. You mean, uh, yeah, it should. It should. So it, it should it be cut, like an instant it cuts release, it very right? often. Yeah, yeah, it cuts it very often. So it's not really the easiest hero to play against. Don't break a Sword Guardian top. going up towards top. Sinku's not going to survive this. They got the shards on Faith Beyond, but he uses the Celestial Hammer. Phoenix is rotating in. They're fighting they around go. this cliff. Mm -hmm. Celestial Hammer again. Starbreaker avoided via the snowball. Another round of Ato, Sunray, Lasso, all out on the Dawnbreaker. Faith Beyond, pretty tanky. Supernova, Xiaomo looks right into the sun and burns his body out. And Faith really Beyond tanky. killed off. And now it's happening. I mean, it's been happening for a while, but... It was when staffs. we uh, talked about the 5-4 staff build. Now yeah, Xiaomo yeah. in some trouble. And it's a snowball all the way over to Ame. But Ame's already got this Mjolnir. So he'll put it on himself, the shield that is, and then go for the right Nothing clicks to get the kill on the Jauma. They'll go in with the Solar Guardian. That's right onto the Viper. And then again, we just talked about it, the Mage Slayer. So the spell damage a little bit less. They go into the Omni Slash. That's going to be bouncing around. Goes out of Faith Beyond. Then over to Y, who goes right into the Supernova, but gets chopped in half. It's omelets for Erica, and nothing to say. He falls to Yang. They want to continue to go. They want to try and get Faith Beyond. He's got the Celestial Hammer. He's going to try and juke here, Delta style. And moving over as the acorn shot bounces from Erica to Yang, but they've got the nature's grasp and Faith Beyond slowed up enough where I think he understands that he's dead to rights and will go after them instead and end up dead to Yang too. It's so easy to follow up with Starbreaker and Ulti from Dawnbreaker, right? Like Solar Guardian when he is uh, slowed by Solar Bind. BKB, Ame. Yang, Ame, oh, caught. Caught and killed. Caught, killed very quickly. They do end up losing Victoria, but is that really worth it? It's just why the bushwhack way off the mark. It felt like it was almost that a, a triple the pink. They're going to they turn feel... that to mid tier one to Roshan right away. Yeah, and, and they feel really far ahead. Like the net worth lead only says 1K, but it just feels like the item timings and what they've got, especially like the blink dagger on the tusk, that, that's a, that little thing that feels very strong. Uh, and the, here it is being shown off bottom a blink in shards out there's the snowball as well as the walrus punch yang's ready to go he's got the flame break as well as the lasso uh, it's not going to be too confident there for faith beyond they're going to send these up heroes in though they want the illuminate faith beyond surviving they get the overgrowth they finally get the kill on a faith beyond but they're going to lose jauma no not yet he says they've got the snowball bushwhack comes in new supernova it was used up top they get the kill on the jauma the sharpshooter takes out yang they could not save mr president uh, Dota is uh, strange sometimes. It works in mysterious ways. It's a strange cookie, definitely. Walrus Punch, Phoenix, no chance at a Supernova. Not even sure you really want to get it off in that point because it would have been killed immediately. Battle Fury timing was a bit slower as well, so it's kind of... Oh boy. I do like the most lane. Yank. Ame in trouble. He has been hit with this lasso. They got the Blade Fury right on top of him, and they're going to get both him and Zinkyu. 
this is all because of the fact that they wanted to go for Yang. It, it looks weird, right? Like that fight looked like something. Why are they doing this? It's next to tier two. They're going to get punished. But when you think about it, they just have so much presence. No, nothing to say. Caught between two heroes here. And the Omni committed to this. They're going to get that kill and get to... Uh, think you just TP'd into that <laughs> and did just died. Gameplay just feels a little bit slow. Feels like they yeah. definitely I mean, are trying towards that, right? It's not that easy though, because again, you're playing against this Trim Protector. EKB early from Yang, but it avoids the sharpshooter, and now they're gonna go forward. But they put the Lincolns on a Jinq, and Yang, wisely enough, stops the lasso from being placed on that uh, Hoodwink too. However. Now, ZinQ on the run, as behind them, though, is Y getting chased by that tusk. ZinQ will be chopped apart by Yang, Erica, as well as Victoria. He was diving for that ward 100% there, but... Uh, is this... Yeah, it's just free rush for Vichy Gaming. With Shard, yeah. And the Shard's going to be given over to XM, which... Increases the max stacks of poison attack and armor reduction. They'll get nothing to say in a precarious spot, and there's no way to really save him. Ame just going for the TP, no BKB, and he'll be lassoed. So this is a big problem for Ame, who's trying to survive, throwing out some right clicks. They go after Xiaomai, they get it on the tusk, they look over at Erica with the Blade Fury, but here comes Victoria with that overgrowth. Sharpshooter lands near down, that lands on a couple. They'll take out Ame post BKB, Starbreaker, no chance Two to kill bats. there though, as he's got the split slash to kill off Faithion. They'll go after Y, they'll take out the Phoenix, Ame buys back and comes right back in and die again. Ooh. He has died twice, they call GG, GG they and VG wiped the floor with LGD. What happened to PSG LGD? They kind of fell apart all over the place. Too many mistakes. I'm just gonna like go into player perspective, click on Pudge, enjoy my... <laughs> yeah, free coaching session, pause one, Pudge. Very cool. I don't know, I, I think this will probably get shut down. Oh, ooh, gosh, Avalanche on three. That was actually massive. Ame's already dead. Yang getting first blood. Yang gang, gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Put together on this that have felt a little bit not his style. Ooh, gets the slow ward up top. Trying to keep up with Y. I mean, the creeps certainly are. She has a toss now. This should be a kill. Uh, he's just going to die to the tower. Yeah. Oh, or, yeah. The majority of the last year, and then suddenly he started owning with, with it, so... You know, give this guy a couple of series and he just I mean, becomes so important. The Cinder Rue burning, they've got the toss again, going into the arc to turn over to the side is why, but they've got the avalanche, they have the right clicks, they'll get the kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. kind of know how long he was done for. You just, just had to know, you just had to feel it. And yeah. all these kids winning TI, like Team Spirit, the hell they would win it in my time, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn! Get Avalanche my up lawn. top! Jalma yeah. with the killing spree! <laughs> Fleshy snacks never heard of him. So, and last he was long on creeps, so he goes back to full HP by just dropping this member off of the centaur here. Meanwhile, nothing to say against a kill solo on uh, XM. I mean, that's that's, yeah. uh, pretty wild that he gets that solo kill. Jama again trying to set up to get a kill here. And level 4 for Y and Avalanche toss. Cinder Brew has the cold embrace. Nobody coming to save the Winter Wyvern's life and uh, not even Pudge. Friendship with Y <laughs> over. They Almost might kill him. 600 attack range away from him. They're wrapping around him really nicely from all three go. sides. Yeah. Ami on the run, nowhere for him to go though. Erica comes in, TPs forward, and they get another kill on Ame. Did for the third time this game, six to one. Why cold embrace? But there's the Cinder Brew. They should be able to ignite it. Probably gonna die and make the score that Brazil line, and that's exactly what it is. But they're thinking about going to the epicenter. Primal split already. Blink Burrow Strike comes in. It's through on XM. The Shackle connects onto nothing to say. Primal split really hasn't done anything, and yeah, Jamus throws the toss though. 
As dismember if you can get into range and of course that's illegal dismember. Very in range. Yeah, that seemed like uh yeah, sure. <laughs> And Everything gets tossed away. Is frog intended. Kapoor is the phases. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me let me redo that then. That was very on point, just like this blink burrow strike on a Victoria. But they've got the dust on. Nothing to say. He's trying to TP out, thinking about the sonic wave, and throws it anyway, and delayed on it. It's gonna be okay, buddy. <laughs> uh, all right, Pudge. Uh, he's Agnum Scepter queued up next. Uh, I'll split was he's used. Going. And Q in trouble. They got the kill in a Y. They'll throw the Doom out onto the Nature's Prophet before he dies. Burrow Strike with the Epicenter. They get the kill there on Erica. Again, nothing to say, though. Dusted up and uh, while well, trying to find himself a spot where he can survive. Burrow Strike comes in and now the hook to follow it up. XM. Oh, gosh. One second on the dismember. One second cooldown. And he'd have her. Plus, uh, Rot, he loses a ton of damage. They found the Tiny. That was a very quick finger on the exorcism. So you might as well use it there. Yeah, when I you look at their team, they don't have any other there. ways, right? Like they, they have no ways of taking uh, objectives besides the exorcism at the moment. Oh. <laughs> and there it goes. There goes the death prophet, Faith Beyond. That's his first death of the game. Meanwhile, why trying to escape the grasp of this VG? It's like Agonims plus Refresher, and then my game is infested with pandas. Yeah, uh, you know, that's half the fun. It's when you're playing the Brewmaster, because you can rat with it as well. Well, they're about Pro to strike. do something about it. They're going to get him. the kill. They've got the Doom, so this should at least try to help them secure it into the dismember and it's the caustic finale pop on yang but but this is typical zinku going uh I, I am the carry now blank orchid big pull spirit vessel on the run sonic wave and dead but the barrel strike comes through now toss on the queen of pain they go into the primal split they have the vision on nothing to say he's trying to get away but there's no chance for him to do so this is allowing Ame to get the farm for in Ags, but they circle the map. They kind of have an inkling. A very good uh, inkling. Where, yeah, a very good spider sense is as Ame's going to get the hook. But they've got Erica coming over. Here comes in Q. There's the blink as well as the stun on the two. Looks over. Erica oh, shadow shot, from Victoria. Power shot through. Exorcism used. Pudge in trouble. Dismembering, trying to survive. But eventually the Wrath of Nature cuts him in half. And Erica gets credit for the kill. They take out Jauma. They look over at Erica. Faith Beyond chasing the Crypt Swarm lands. That's going to be two kills. Doom. Jinku in trouble. Spirit Vessel again doing enough damage. They've got the silence thanks to Faith Beyond who's keeping up with the sp this Spirit Siphon. Faith Beyond running down Yang. Triple kill for Faith Beyond. Can he get a fourth here on Victoria? The ultra kill is in his sights but not in his grasp as Faith Beyond getting a lot out of that and ends up being an equal trade for gold. Well, I'm not sure if you call it uh, that one wouldn't a win, but Faith Beyond is going to be pretty happy after that one. Yeah, he picks up a, a good chunk of gold, has 1,400 now, ready to go. They've got the Gale Force of that first item of the shard. Epicenter used, and Faith Beyond now dominating. He gets yet another kill. And they might even look to go for Yang, but Yang juking back and forth. Jauma also has this Blink Dagger to maybe Blink toss back into his team. Faith There's Beyond, he's under too. vision. They got the Wrath of Nature to land, and now they're going to get this kill into Faith Beyond very easily. XM getting the credit for that one and taking away the spree. The, the rush already on 50%. They need to move. They need to go now. They're waiting. They're trying to group up. It's they're trying to play. smoke. It's going to be really close. It might be down to the wire. I think it's hook. No. Why here? Winter's Curse. Not going to matter. They've got the Avalanche, that hits four heroes! The Gale Force comes in with a oh. Sonic Wave! It's the Symphony of Skills! All coming in for Vici, but it only gets the nice Winter Doom, Wyvern. Though. They've got the Doom on the Yang. They'll get the kill on the Brewmaster. And even and though it one. all lined up, they're going to lose another Erica. He's been hit by the hook. They'll get the kill with Ame having that upgraded rot thanks to the Ags. And it's a double kill there for him, too. Tiny is close enough. This is a really nice smoke from them, but they don't have the panda close enough. Uh, Erica? Epicenter? They're on him. They want to go after and get this kill on the Nature's Prophet. Yule's up into the air. 
And Erica looking like he is dead yeah, thanks to the Burrow Strike and the control there for nothing to say. I mean, Erica not exactly having the best game on this Nature's Prophet. And on the other side of the map, the look over is now the Shackle lands out of the Death Prophet, but they've got the Blink as well as the Stun. The follow up from nothing to say with the Burrow Strike. Fagrenade thrown. They dig the Aegis out of the hands of XM. They think about the Primal Split. They go into the Gale Force. That's keeping LGD nearby. They've got the Orchid. They have some damage. There's the Sonic Wave as well as the Orchid Burn, but the Yule's up in the air and he's going to survive. They've got the Witcher's Curse. Nothing to say. Finally hit with a three point shot coming in from Jauma. They look Punch. to add a plus one. Ame. Pretty tanky, but how tanky? Spirit Vessel's on him, Shackle connects. Of course, the Knight is angle. That's very interesting. Blink stun on a two. Ame already dead, but he does not have buyback. Faith Beyond chasing these heroes with the Shackle again. Victoria! Absolutely controlling the side of LGD with ease. So they're going to be more than happy to take this fight. XM, Yang, they're trying to take back the outpost. There's the avalanche as well as the toss has come through with the Orchid out onto Innocence, but they caught themselves XM. They end up losing themselves, the Witcher Wyvern, but they'll take that for a kill on the Queen of Pain who doesn't have buyback. Jama's gonna die next. Now, Victoria trying to help with the Gale Force to get Yang out. And that Earth Bear, <laughs> or Earth Panda, uh, is, okay. uh, well, looking to run. That doesn't work, by the way, Ame. You're not able to hook that. They get him back to form. The Shackle lands, but it's not gonna matter. Yang on the run. I say it's not going to matter, but nice. look how slow they are. There's the hook from Ame, and the chase is on from Faith Beyond. Looking to get a kill here onto Victoria. Victoria doesn't have the mana to throw out a shackle to survive. He's feared up thanks to the shard on Faith Beyond with that spirit siphon. And they get the kill into Victoria, taking out four heroes on the side of Vici. Secretly going for it, or maybe LGD are aware and they want to wait for their moment to go in. Erica and XM are in the pit. There's just a second to go before they're in. They're looking for the Witcher's Curse. It's not going to be in time. The Aegis is already picked up with the BKB being popped by Erica. And there's an easy kill onto why the hook was used. And now the Gale Force will not push back anybody on the side of LGD. He still doesn't have his egg shard. Oh, hook on Erica. They've got the dismember. They're gonna lock him down, Faith Beyond with the Exorcism pops his BKB now, and there goes Ame's Blink Burrow Strike hits the Lincolns. They've got the Epicenter going off, but there's the toss out on and nothing to say. He's already dead. Sonic Wave pushes him back, keeps Jama alive, but the hook is hit by Ame. They've got the Gale Force keeping LGD in a bit of a precarious position as they Ame. get the kill to Ame. They'll take out the Pudge, but Faith Beyond's the damage dealer at the moment. They've got the Orchid through out on a Y. Y's gonna die again. The Shackle continues to land here. They don't call him Victoria, they call him the Warden because he's putting all of LGD in shackles. <laughs> uh, this is a serious problem at this point. I, I feel like now they just need to focus down the Wind Ranger. There's way too much disable he's getting off in these team fights. It is crazy. It, in the end, it's only the tiny that falls. Meanwhile, you lose both of your main cores. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a huge blunder, I would say, for PHLGD to even try and fight that. Aegis was about to expire. 40 seconds left. So maybe just waiting that one out would have been better. Yeah, it was uh, such an awkward beginning of that fight. Neither of them wanted to fight each other. Nature's Prophet had to change targets as well because so much of his damage is magical between the Mjolnir and the Witchblade. So he just didn't want to hit Pudge with the BKB active. Finally, why with a Winter's Curse that lands on multiple heroes? They've got the Gale Force coming in. They throw out the Avalanche. They have the Doom out on XM. Maybe have the damage to get a kill here. Why dies again? Sing Q on the run. Burrow Strike lands. Keeps Sing Q alive. They get the kill on XM with a power shot coming in from Victoria again. The Warden strikes. They've got themselves the Avalanche running on a two. They get the kill on nothing to say. They'll take out Y who just bought back. ZQ bought back here too. Pudge is coming in, trying to TP forward to try and hold this game in some sort of a threshold. But the right click's coming through in a face again. Here comes Pudge as the dismember onto Yang. They get the kill out onto the Brewmaster. There's the Avalanche coming in. But Erica trying to survive with the BKBB pop here by Ame. He's the last hope. They get the kill to Erica. They'll take a Victoria, but they've got the buybacks. No more BKB. Ame on the run. Hit with the Orchid. They've got the lockdown. Okay. Out town is back. The steering is over. Vici take the 2-0 over LGD. Erica with an ultra kill to cap it off. Yeah, the 2-0 over PSG LGD. No one would have seen this one coming.